Okay, hello everyone. We are back for the third time today with part three, I think. Part three of this beautiful pine sideboard that we're working on. Um, so if you haven't watched our previous couple of videos, a couple were last Friday, um, the other two were this morning. We have fixed the drawers and the drawer runners. Uh, that was an episode in itself. We have cleaned, we've scruff sanded, we have filled some of the dings. There are still some, but we've filled like most of them. This is one of those ones where it's like a faux rough finish um, where they pretend new wood is old wood and they whack it with some nails. So we've filled some of those holes um, and then we've popped our primer on. So primer went on, finished going on about 40 minutes ago. Um, it is all dry. I've had a heater on it, but Purico Base and Blocker, which is the primer that we've used, dries really, really fast. And as soon as it's touched dry, you can do your coat of paint, which is what we're doing now. So uh, my decision on the color for this one, I was a little bit, I want this piece to sell fairly quickly, but I'm also really, really bored. So this is my little way to get around being bored, have some fun, um, is create a new custom color just for this piece. Um, so, and use up some paint that we've got left over. So we've got Pure Eco Silk Finish in the color Fossil as our base color. I've got like a centimeter of this left in this jar. So this is going to be our base, when I can open it, our base jar. So we're gonna grab our paint out. Let me get it all down there into the jar. So you can see it's not even like a centimeter. There's just a little dribble in the bottom there. So we're gonna use that as our base color. We have got some Purico Snow. This is the pure white. If I was to paint, just paint this, I would be looking at four coats, possibly five, depending on how my coverage is going. Snow is as pure as it gets. Uh, there is no pigment in it, which is why it takes so many coats. So I'm gonna use some of that to, if I can open it again, we know what I'm like with jars, guys. So we're gonna pour some of that into my um, fossil bottle here. I just wanna make enough, um, enough paint so that I don't run out halfway through my project. This is quite a large dresser. In saying that, we're only gonna use about 200 ml all up. Um, so we will get away with not making heaps but we want a little bit. So we've got our fossil in there. I'm just gonna pour some of our snow in, just as to sort of help that base color. So I've poured in a really good dollop of that. Now I've got, I'm liking these warmer tones. <coughs> Excuse me, hang on two seconds. Oh. I breathe the wrong way. <laughs> um, I'm liking the warmer tones. I don't want this stark white. I do want a bit of warmth to it. So I've got some fawn, but I've also got brumby. And I'm thinking a little bit of brumby to start with. Uh, Brumby's a really beautiful, rich chocolate brown. It is such a nice color, but it's got a gray base, which I really, really love. And we're just gonna pour a little bit of that into there. I don't wanna to go too heavy handed, so we're just gonna do a little bit to start with. Then we're gonna grab our spoon and give ourselves a little mix. Mixing your own colors is so much fun. And um, you just never know what you're sort of gonna come up with. And I have, um, <laughs> I've mixed fossil. <laughs> that worked well, didn't it? Um, I, I quite literally have just mixed fossil, just about. It might be a shade or two off, but I have just mixed myself a tub of fossil. It's a little bit lighter. It's very close. Oopsie. <laughs> I knew it'd be close. I didn't think it'd be that close. So that's quite a lot of paint in there. We're pretty well... I just want to make sure it's all well mixed. So we've got this beautiful... Hang on. Beautiful color. I love doing that, it's so much fun. All right, so we've pretty much got fossil. Um, I don't think I've quite got enough paint though, so we're gonna add a little bit more of our white. Just 
just a little bit. There's really nothing left in this jar. I'm just gonna tip it all in. Um, if I've got extra after this project, it doesn't matter. I am sure I can find something else to paint it with. I'm just tipping most of that in there. I'm gonna grab my spoon actually. There's like only a little bit left in there. So I might as well just tip it all in. I'm not going to use this color again, to be honest. I'm not even sure why it's open to begin with. I must have used it on something. Um, but I don't, I don't use um, snow. Like I'm not, I don't paint white furniture. Or I very rarely paint white furniture. It's just not my cup of tea. Um, not that I drink tea, but <laughs> it's not my cup of tea. My husband always picks on me for saying that because I don't drink tea. But I'll use that phrase now for your empty jars. Give that a clean out before it dries out. Give it a clean out. Keep your lids because you never know. It comes in perfect for when you're mixing a colour. Or if you accidentally drop a jar like I did the other day, it's the perfect way to um, just have a spare. I'm going to put in more of our, what is this, Brumby. A good little, oops, probably not that much, but <laughs> a good dollop. We're just going to give that another quick mix. So you just want to make sure your colours are all mixed. It, look, at the end of the day, I have I have just made fossil. <laughs> so that worked well. But look, I had fun doing it. And now this piece is a little bit more exciting to me. And if that keeps the excitement alive, well... Like, little things amuse me, but here we are. So I, I pretty much just mix fossil. <laughs> For anybody wondering, it's fossil, snow, and brumby uh, to mix fossil, because <laughs> that is what I've done. I'm gonna put in a bit more brumby. I'd like it just a little bit darker. Um, I don't, or you could add like black to it, but I think that would muddy it too much, whereas the brumby's just adding that warmth that I'm really liking. Now this, obviously, there's too much paint in here. That was nearly a full jar of snow. But, and I'm not going to use all this, but now I'll have more for another project. All right, so we're really well mixed. We're looking beautiful. There, there's not much difference between now and two minutes ago. But that is how you mix fossil. <laughs> um, who knows, we might even use the Brumby and do like a paint wash on the top as well. That might be really nice. Let me just pop some things out of the road and let's pop a coat of this on and see what we think. Worst case scenario, if I'm not a fan of it, we can always keep mixing and we can do a slightly darker second coat or a slightly lighter second coat as well. That is an option. Now, we've got a roller. I've actually grabbed a fresh roller head. This is the, is it five mil? I think it's five mil. Yeah, five mil nap. So nice and short. Um, this is the two fussy blokes rollers. Sorry, my chair's sliding away from underneath me. Two fussy blokes rollers. This is the 100 mil frame. Uh, as I said earlier, I don't have any of the 100 mil frames left, but I do have the rollers and they will fit any, um, any 100 mil frame. Yeah, they're universal, so they will fit. I do, however, have the 50 mil roller and the 50 mil um, roller heads in stock though. So if you want those, grab those. We've also got our two fussy blokes, I think it's Aqua Glide Pro, Aqua Glider Pro brush, I don't know. 38 mil, we're using that one again. And of course, our trusty paint tray. If you don't have a paint tray, use a plate. Paint tray, um, these ones are like five bucks. They're on our website. Are they five bucks? That seems awfully cheap. No, I think they're about five bucks. I could be wrong. Who knows? Um, they are on our website. These are for the 100 mil rollers or the 50 mil fit in it perfectly as well. Obviously, they're smaller than 100 mil, but that works. And I'm just going to use our brush first. So this dress has got one coat of Purico base and blocker in the color gray on there. I'm just wiping all the paint off our spoon. Oh no, you can see what I'm doing. Um, and now we're gonna paint our color on here. So, one coat of base and blocker, looking really nice, fully dry. I do have the heater on it, so it's dried super fast anyway. 
I'm just going, sorry, I'm going to shut that door behind me because you guys can't see what we're doing. I think that's a bit better. Is that better? No, that's not. Okay, so I'm going to from the skylights or oh. oh no it's coming from that that's all right you can see better now um anyway so i've got this bit of decorative trim up the top so we're going to use our brush and do that bit first let me pop the back a little bit so you can see what we're doing let's have a look at this color it's pretty much fossil but <laughs> i'm going to pretend it's not and that we've created something way more exciting bit of warmth I do like it. It's a beautiful colour. So I'm just doing this section with a brush because it is easier. That is the only reason. The roller's really not going to get into this detail. Um, the top of this piece has not yet been sanded either. Um, so we're just, we're not too fast about getting the paint on the top. We're just wanting to get a good coat of this paint on. The coverage is beautiful as always. We'll work our way down this piece and grab the jar. That way, oh, sorry. Try to make sure you can see. All right, so just one nice coat and then we're gonna grab our roller. So we're only brushing on a piece like this where it's all pretty flat. We're only brushing the sections that we can't roll. Um, a roller is going to give us a really nice finish. If you're using a good quality roller, you will achieve a really nice finish. Um, I do love the two fussy blow rollers um, because I do get that spray-like finish with them as well, which is always a nice bonus. I tell you what, this colour, as nice as it is, I'm so bored. <laughs> I don't know why. I, oh, well, apparently I do because I've done a few lately, but... I am bored. There's just, it doesn't do it for me. Whites are just, there's just no, there's no fun in white. Need a bit of color. Um, but this is what I had. I didn't have enough. I was going to do a green, but I've only got, I've got fern, which is a really, really bright, bright green. I'm just going to do these couple little nooks, these cutouts on the leaves. Um, but I only have a really bright fern. I had a little bit of bergamot, but I decided that this would be a better choice because I wanted to sell. I'm just going to, while I've got my brush, I'm just going to come around the end and do it down here as well. There's two little cutouts. Just while I've got my brush, I may as well. Because otherwise I will forget them. Um, and I'm just going to do this top trim this end as well. Yeah, I'll do this end as well. I will move the camera for this because it's right here. Oops, sorry. Sorry, camera. Ignore my mess. <laughs> um, this is taking up like half of our table. And I don't quite oh, have enough room. I'm just doing that trim. These brushes are just beautiful. I'm really, really liking them. Um, you got, if you've seen our last few lives, these are pretty much all I'm using at the moment. I love our regular brushes, but these are just beautiful. They really are. I'm achieving such a nice finish with them. And the like silk finish in particular is really, really loving them. Oh, I'll do this bit too. Hang on, let me move some things. I don't even know what I'm doing this year. Jars of paint mainly, but there's a few, there's like TV remotes, sunglasses, water bottles with a kettle, pop you in there, a speaker, everything. Right, now we've got 
that's in America. Tape measure, keys. If you don't know by now, I can get pretty messy when I'm creating. I do like a clean up once a week. And then the rest of the week it's just pure chaos. And that clean up might only last like half an hour before it's just messed up everywhere again. But I'm just a very, very messy creator. Alright, now, done that boring bit. Let's do the fun. Let's do this end first. Why not? Okay, so I'm going to pop some paint in my tray. We've got oh, just, just shy of a full jar. A full jar is 600 mils. So I would say we've probably got oh, about 250, I think. Not, yeah, just, not quite 300 mil. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of paint. We, you really won't need much at all. And you will find when you roll, you, I find anyway, that I do tend to use a little less paint than what I do when I'm brushing. I, it, I, it just goes on thinner. It goes on a lot more evenly. But I definitely use a lot less paint. Roller, load it up. And roller just makes your life so much easier. When you've got big flat surfaces like this, like, look how quick that was. I would still be like on that first sort of section right now, whereas a roller, I'm already, it, it's just faster. If you don't want to spray, a roll roller is a great option. This will give you a spray-like finish as well. If you've got the spray up, set up sorry, to spray, by all means do it. Um, the Pure Eco range can be um, thin to 30% where you spray it, and they do spray really, really well. I have sprayed them. Um, but if you don't have that set up, don't want to do that cleanup. Although I find roller versus spray up clean up to be about the same. There's not a big difference in terms of the clean up, but this is just easier as well. Like so. Well that one side, beautiful. Let's move around to the front. Where are we? Hang on, let me spin you right. Okay. We did alright then. <laughs> I'm trying to um, stop drinking as much Coke as I can. I'm not too bad. I'm down to one a day, which is much better than what it was. But it's a very hard habit to kick. In saying that, though, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do any, anything else. It's just Coke. I don't know why. I just should have never started drinking it to begin with. It's got its hooks in me. Anybody else? So it really doesn't matter how you, what direction you're rolling either. Like so. So I'm going to do the draw fronts and then we'll slide out the drawers and I'll do around the edges as well. This colour is quite nice. We're, we have definitely just made fossil, but that's fine. This has got to roll with the punches sometimes, but on the plus side, we have used up paint that was always probably never going to get used. It would just sit there. I do use whites occasionally, more just for the mixing purposes than anything. Not forgetting our edge or our feet. So I'm just sort of moving my roller around. These have got like a be beveled. That's it. Remember earlier? If you watched earlier's video, can't remember what beveled edge. <laughs> these have got a beveled edge. These drawers. So I'm just rotating my roller as needed to get into that bevel and to give me that nice finish there as well. It's quite easy to roll that, so you don't have to brush that section. Beautiful. So, and 
then to recoat this as well, we're going to give it about an hour. I'll see how I'm going today. I might even get the second coat on today if we continue doing this well. So, and you can see how fast this is going on as well. Like a coat when you're rolling of this size, depending on your color as well. And like this is a fairly plain piece as well. It's obviously I can pretty much roll all of it. Um, so I've moved down to this end and I forgot to move you guys. <laughs> Come with me. There we go. <laughs> is that better? Yes, right. Um, a piece of this size rolling is maybe, and if it's like if fully capable, takes about 20 minutes or what. Uh, so it's not a huge amount of time. As I said earlier, um, I think I said it in the video earlier today, in our primer video, um, a piece like this is very much, you can definitely accomplish this within a day um, if you spend all day doing it. Otherwise, in a weekend, absolutely. And a piece like this is a great weekend project, I think. It's a really subtle change. It's a really easy paint job. We're not doing anything fancy here. But it's a great way to just update. And you could like do a whole bedroom set over several weeks. And just pick a piece a weekend or a piece a week to do and just take your time with it. The hardest thing out of all this is probably setting the top, to be honest. The painting side of things like this is all pretty easy. Obviously, I did have issues with the runners, the draw runners on this piece. So that took... A bit more time than expected. I spent about an hour doing that. Um, or actually probably ended up close to two hours in the end. Um, because they were not playing nice. But pieces like this are pretty pretty easy to do, I think. Pop it on. Now, I can see that I have missed pieces on this drawer. I'm not gonna go back and touch it. That paint's already started drying. If you start touching it, that's when um, it starts to build a lot of texture, so it won't be as even. And it will also, um, it could start lifting the paint, which obviously we don't want to happen. Um, and if you did really start to lift that paint, and it was a lot, you possibly be up for re-sanding that drawer front and um, starting that section again. So just keep that in mind when you're um, doing a piece like this as well. So I'm just gonna open up these drawers and roll down these sides. Get them all looking pretty as well, like so. Keeping in mind, if your drawers are quite a tight squeeze, Every layer of paint, I, I go by the rule, every layer of paint is about a mil. So if you put put a coat of paint on, you're adding about a millimetre. Um, and when it comes to drawers and doors and this sort of thing, a millimetre can be the difference between them opening and functioning normally and getting stuck every single time. Um, and if they're getting stuck a lot too, so I stuck my hand in that. Um, if they're getting stuck and catching a lot, that paint's just gonna come off anyway. So just keep that in mind when you are considering painting the edges. Now my edges as well, they sit, I don't know how well you can see that, they sit out from the base. If they were flush with that piece, then I would tape it, but because they sit separately, I'm not going to um, bother doing that today. Like it, it, it wouldn't have any benefit is what I'm trying to say with that sentence. Looking very nice. I'm gonna pop you in. Woo. Pop you out a little bit more. I'm trying not to touch all the wet paint. And then pop you back in. Oh, my drill's in there. I will go looking for that later. <laughs> I'll work out to find it. I've actually, um, oh gosh, it was a couple of years ago now. I sold, it was a set of drawers. And I left my drill in the drawers and somebody brought them, didn't realize. Um, somebody brought them, I delivered them, and they called me later that evening and was like, um, your drill's here. I'm like, oh no, it's fine. I, I've, it, it, everything's attached, it's all fine. And they're like, no, 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 we've got your drill. It was in the drawer. 
obviously I put the handles on and just forgotten about it. Um, so it wouldn't be the first time that I've lost tools and pieces. Locking up the article. I'm just going to do the ones on this side as well. Ugh. So just getting those edges just as easy to roll these. There's really no point in using a brush on these bits. Along the base as well. You don't have to do like along the bottom of the drawer. I just think it looks a bit neater. Um, oh, hang on, I better pull the next one out. More, a little bit neater more than anything, um, but it's completely up to you. I think I've accidentally pushed that one off its runner. I have. I felt it click off. All right, that's fine. That can stay there. I'll fix it once it's dry. All right, so all these edges, we'll do this last side in a second, and then we're done. We're going to let it dry. I've got the heater on it. I might whack a second heater on it. I would love if I could get a full second coat on today. I think looking at this, like the coverage is really good. I think two coats and we should be good to go. I think. I think that's where we're at. Oh. You in? Right, do this edge as well and then we'll come down and do this other. And, sorry, I know I'm standing on the camera, which is not helpful to you guys. But, I can't be helped sometimes. Yeah, I'm too short and I can't see what I'm doing up the top here, so I'm just hoping for the best. I still can barely see on TV, guys. I'm too short. Alright, come down the end. We're just going to leave the drawers like that for a second. Excuse us. Oh, no. Oops. <laughs> right, we made it. One more end. So that looks so much nicer already. Ooh. I've got a little tiny bit of paint left. I reckon we'll just have enough left in my tray. If not, I can, oops, I can um, grab more out of the jar, but I reckon we'll have just enough left in this paint tray for a coat. But we'll see how we go. There's quite a bit on my roller still too. I've got that bit. So this is pure eco silk finish. Um, it has the built-in top coat. So I don't need to top coat this. I have mixed the paint, but I haven't changed the formulation as such. I've just mixed the colours, so I don't need to seal. Um, in case anybody was curious. So we're fine with just mixing colours. I haven't thinned down the paint. Um, I've only mixed it with silk finish. I haven't mixed it with chalk. Um, so I haven't changed the formulation in that regard. I'm just mixing the, uh, the, the pigment pretty much. So I don't need to top coat this. Of course, if you want to top coat, you can. The, real, the only benefit really to top coating this is if, um, is if you wanted to change the um, sheen of the paint. But this will give you um, like not quite a full satin finish. It will be What's the best way to describe it? Like a freshly waxed piece. So there's a little bit of shine, but not a lot. It looks really clean. It's a really, really nice finish. Um, yeah, I think that's it for now. So that is our first coat of our custom mix Pure Eco Silk Finish colors. I'm loving the color. I think it's really, really beautiful. It's got a bit of warmth to it, which I love. Um, so I'm gonna let this dry. We'll see how we go. I'll either be live again, it's three o'clock. I'll either be live again in about half an hour-ish if it's dry. Otherwise, I'll be live first thing tomorrow morning. We'll do coat two. We'll see how it's looking and decide then whether or not it needs a third coat. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's been an absolute pleasure having you all. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments. Um, send me a message as well. All the products that we've used are on our website, thepaintedbrush.com.au. The links are linked 
on this video for you to find. Uh, as always, have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you so much. See you, everyone.